Hey everyone, welcome to a new game. This is called Sorceress. Oh, I was being co-hosted by Millie the house cat. She just jumped off my lap as I started. I guess I spooked her by talking. Uh, so yeah, this game is Sorceress. It's an RPG released by Serenium Studios, published and developed by them. I think this might be one of their first games, if not the first game. I don't remember seeing any of those on their store page. And it just sort of caught my eye. I've not played an RPG for quite a long time. Honestly, since some Final Fantasy games. So I thought, you know what? I'll check it out. One of the things that's amused me immediately off the options menu is the volume meter. Now, you might think this percentage like, you know, you can type it or move it up and down or a meter. Nope, you click on it and it goes up and down by 20%. Fair enough. I've not booted this up yet, so let's give it a go. New game. Aren't you a little old for bedtime stories? No way. Come on, Aunt Minerva, please. Oh, all right. Magic, the art of gathering power and focusing it with intentions to create wondrous and devastating effects, existed long before man. But from his earliest days, he has coveted it. Cruel and greedy men hoarded it, killed for it, and always wanted more of it. All the while, the people were assailed by unclean spirits, the restless dead, and beasts of every shape and size. They needed hope. They needed protection. They needed heroes. And so, small in number at first, brave warriors and wise wizards came together. And became the coolest heroes ever. There have been many great heroes in Meridius, but yes, we are cool. If you want to be an arcane knight, you will need to do well at your first day at Hexengard tomorrow. Right, first of all, Millie, what are you doing? There's a plastic bag here full of, like, recyclable paper waste from, like, shredding. She's trying to get in the bag right now. By trying, she's in the bag head first. Can you not suffocate yourself, like, five minutes into a video, Millie? Listen, Millie, get out of the bag. Your ear is going backwards now. Come on. Don't scratch. Oh, come on. No. Right, out you go. She doesn't know I'm trying to do it for my own, her own safety. Gives me a little nip. It's like, thanks, Millie. Thanks for that. You couldn't just sit on my lap nicely as you were just before I started the video. Apologies. Move by using the arrow keys WSD or click on the destination with a mouse. Hey, sis, come listen to the box with me. Ooh. It's completely voiced, I guess. Quest added the big day. Click on an object with the mouse or hit enter. We have plenty of board games. Nothing but papers and inks. Can I talk to you? A good night, Andraste. You'll do great at the Hexengar tomorrow. I know it. Any advice? The second best advice I can give you is to listen and learn. I guess, but I can already do magic. What can the council teach me that you haven't? The Elder Council has experts in every discipline, and you'll learn from more than just your classes. You'll learn so much from the other students, and even more from the best teacher of all experience. Okay, and what's the best advice? Don't be late. Sure. I uh, can't interact with the couch. Just want to have a look at my bookshelf. Ooh. Most of the keepsakes and spell components. I need to organize these shelves better. Listen, are there any hidden items? Mysterious places, daring adventures, heroes and magic. Far away from the dingy streets of Leth. Special favorite books? Sure. A drop or two of ichor in the water keeps the flowers fresh and smelling amazing for almost four weeks. I have my new uniform ready for tomorrow. Perfect. And it's not always easy to find nail polish and eyeshadow that complement my hair, but it's always worth it. Come on, Andraste, don't be like that. You're not giving me the silent treatment again, are you? Listen, I'm, I'm clicking on every single draw. Sock folding spells exist, but it's not worth the cost in ichor. Sure. Right, what do you want? All right, Declan, I'll listen to the Vox with you. Click on the Vox next to Declan, so it's this crystal. Good evening, Letha. Welcome to the Olberg Element. I'm your host, and it's Olberg. Tonight, I join the Letha Celestial Prior, Lord Melky. Welcome, sir. Glad to be here, Lance. Lord Melky, during your tenure as Prior of Letha, 
He had massively increased operations against Malakaran and unsanctioned spellcasting. In fact, your warlock hunts have gotten you labeled as overzealous and even militant. How do you respond? I don't, I don't think that, that expresses, expresses what we're trying to accomplish. I've, I've increased operations outside of Lethe itself into historically ignored regions. I have a responsibility to everyone, not just middle and upper classes. I'm not willing to man the battlements and let outlying communities fight off arcane and supernatural threats as best they can. So you're not a zealot? You're a bold defender of the innocent? I'm a man who's not willing to stand idly by while innocent people suffer. I'll be interested in hearing more of your actual policies right after these messages. Okay. Interesting that these magic crystals, what was it called, the Vox, still has the, like, the microphone echo. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Hey Declan, have you been adding spikes to your armor? That's right, sis. If the bad guys try to grab me, they'll regret it. Also, they, uh, they make me look cool. Sure. The hard outer shell for an equally hard head. Fair enough. Uh, ooh, sword on the wall. Can I take one? Declan likes his swords on the heavy side. Sure. Can I take a carrot? I need the cooking so Declan cleans up. All you. I got it. Yes. I got you, sis. Uh, I guess we're going down the stairs now, although there's two doors here. No, I don't need to go. I'm good. Is there something you need in my room, Andraste? Uh, no, sorry, Auntie. Auntie! She looks pretty good for being your auntie. Eh. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow, by the way? I have an early morning and I'll be out of the house for most of it. Uh, oh, right. You're seeking Declan off. It's only for a week of training exercise, but he should have family there to say goodbye. Yeah, I wish I could be there. It's an important day for both of you. Speaking of, I only have one appointment in the afternoon, so I'll make dinner tomorrow. Anything you want. Mmm, seven layer chocolate cake? I think letting my apprentice have dessert for dinner violates something in the code of chivalry. Anyway, think about it. What was your third option? Tell me another story. Seriously? Seriously. There was once a teenage girl who stayed up too late before the first day of school, so she got straight X and ended up packing cans of fish guts by the dots. And she lived smellily ever after the end. Is this some kind of parable? Scholars debate the deeper meanings of it. <laughs> this is like if you're trying to take your like, kids to bed or something, and it's like, oh, come on, like you have to give me a bedtime story before bed. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay. There was once this infant boy who didn't go to bed, and he got into lots of trouble for it. And because of that, he couldn't sleep well until the next morning. Good night. That type of thing. Anyway, let's go downstairs. I'm not going downstairs. I'll just lock up. What? I'm not going back downstairs. I just locked up. Oh, so there's more stuff to do in here. I guess I have to talk to Declan again. Good night, sis. Are you ready for your mission? Yeah, mom. Have you have your tent? I don't actually know if this is real. Is this is my mom? I don't think it is. I think I'm sister. Yes. You have your bug repellent. It's not camping trip, Andras Day. What about your sword? I only forgot it that one time, and you'll never forget it again. Shut up. Oh, good night, sis. Uh, are you jealous I got into Hexengard? What did you think of the interview? Thanks for turning it off. I can't believe Lance is talking to Lord Melchior. Like he's some low-rent politician. Lance talks to everyone like that. Yeah, well, the Lord Captain deserves more respect. Okay. And are you jealous I got into Hexengard? I don't think you will be. No way. You enjoy the classrooms and the tuition. I'm an Imperial Knight with a Y. I'm surprised they let you in. I thought you had to be a diehard Darkus to join the Magisterium's army. Oh, Dracus to join the Magisterium's army. You don't know much about the Imperial Knights, do you? They work with the Magisterium, but the Order's independent and not every knight is a Dracus. It's the majority, but it's not required. Okay. So my next quest is sleep in my brother's bed. Okay, I am Declan's sister, not his maid. So they were just joking about that. Let me see what else is on here. Do you know the value of a halting A standard bank lockbox. 
can hold 0.37 cubic feet and can be pried open in less than 90 seconds with a crowbar. Property secured with a halt and lift can be of any size and is beyond the reach of pry bars. A chitin armor group three tumbler wall mounted safe has 1,000 possible combinations and after being ripped from its wall mountings is opened an average of three to five days later. A halt and lift is only accessible with a specific incantation by those with the skill to perform it. And now, the gold standard bank has made this powerful combination of conjuration and hermetic bindings available to you. Come visit one of our branch locations for a free arcane security consultation. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, I tried to right-click then, which was the back out on the menu, but apparently not here. Uh, do I still have to talk to the glyph? Mm, I mean, there's nothing there. I guess I have to keep talking to the Vox for now. Okay. Have you lost someone near and dear to you? Come to Coven of Veils for your channeling and medium needs. Speak with dead, three gilded for the first minute, one gilded for each additional minute. Coven of Veils is not responsible for vague answers, hauntings, and demonic entities impersonating loved ones. Okay, I'm just getting adverts now. Can I go to my room now? Okay, what am I doing? Is there a quest lock? Main quest, the big day. Go to bed. Fair enough. Should probably check that first. Tomorrow's my first day at Hexengard. I need to be ready. Go to sleep, yeah. Quest complete, we're gonna leave our room. Oh. Scream came from Aunt Minerva's room. Declan, what are you up to? I think this was her room. Hello? Is everything okay? I'm coming in. Oh no. Aunt Minerva? Are you here? Uh, Hello? What happened here? I don't want to worry you, but uh, I think you were called Andraste. This room's on fire. Your house is on fire. The building could be on fire. I need to get out of here. I need to find help. What do you mean could be on fire? It's very on fire. I should have seen if we can interact with the papers or anything. Sure. Sure. Okay. So just gobbledygook stuff that I guess I don't have to interact with. Honestly, having played... Aunt Minerva? How did we get here? Have you played Doki Doki? Let's just call on use of that type of message. Okay. Wait, where are you going? Where are we? Is it walking? Sorry, that's a fire. My mistake. Can't walk over rocks. Who are you? Andraste. Hello. Only light can conquer darkness. Yeah. It was all a dream. An awful dream. I need to get my spell book, get changed, and head downstairs to find my sword. Hey. To access your quest log and look through the objects, it's open the main menu and select the quest log tab. We've learned this. Get changed, find your spell book, and go downstairs. And the reward is experience. I kind of like the art on this game. Kind of unique. Uh, okay, nothing in there. Get ready for school, yes. Perfect, we got 15 golden. I then need my spell book. These were my favourites, weren't they? Nope. Nope. No. Have I got that already? Was it just all in my wardrobe? Find your spell book and go downstairs. Okay, we haven't found the spell book then. Okay. Hey, let me just check. Can I go in my aunt's room? Aunt Minerva's not there. She took Declan to the Sky Docks this morning. 
Nothing in there. Terrific. And Minerva keeps a few sorcery journals and spellcast options. Might be worth a look. You got Arcane Eye, Undead, and Unnatural History. Nice. A few extra Icar Amples. We've got an Icar Ampule. I have no idea what that does. Uh, in the city, even old houses like ours have a gas stove. Much more convenient than wood. Okay, I can't look at anything else. Uh, is this a fridge? Icebox is getting bare. I'll need to run to the bodega soon. Sure. By the way, what's in this chest down here, brother? Dad made this box of Declan. He he liked to make things. Okay, I'm going to presume my spellbook is downstairs. I doubt it's in Declan's room. Uh, you know what? Should we probably leave? Are they in here? Plenty of board games. Yeah, okay. Okay. She's not ready yet. Where did you leave your spell book? Oh, wait. Is that it? You got Andres' spell book. Sorry, I actually thought that was something like... I don't know. I just thought it was decoration. To equip Andres' spell book, open the menu by right clicking or hitting the escape key and select the equip tab. And then select Andres Day. Equip. Arcane Focus, Spellbook. Nice. Nice. And then back out. Are we ready to leave now? Can I leave this room? Okay. Now I need my sword. It's downstairs somewhere. Okay. We have both a spellbook and a sword. I like it. Right, where is my sword? Did I leave it in the toilet? Oops, wrong button. I don't care if he gets lecturing duty every day of his field training exercise. Declan's not getting out of his scrubbing responsibilities. Fair. Uh, I see the soots on the wall there. Wet stones, cleaning salves, and bandages. Everything a small training hall needs. Can I take some of those, please? I should take an extra ampule, just in case. Another ampule. Nice. Tad used to call his uh, helmet's brain buckets. Dad's old gun smithing kit. He never talked about how he learned to do that stuff. Can I have a gun, please? Uh, Icar infused ink. Can I take one of these swords off the wall? Here it is. Andres the sword equipped. Did that actually equip though? Or do I have to say to equip? I guess this is my hand slot. Nope. Artifact? Hmm. Where do I have my sword? Is it our king focus? No. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't see it. We'll just presume I have a sword. Titan armor groups. Latest training armor. Accurate simulates the weight and constraints of real armor. Okay. Right. What's over here? I'm intrigued by these two big blue books. Arcane Eye Familiar Craft by Maximilian Vogel. Nature provided the first familiars in the form of small animals, from the iconic cat and stately raven down to the lowly rats and lizard. With the steady advance of the arcane arts, today's familiars can be precision tooled. From wood, metal, and glass, groaning vats of alchemically modified tissue, and even conjured from the ethereal realm, regardless of their origin, all familiars share the binding familiar spell, a practice so ubiquitous amongst early mages that multiple that multiple discovery is the best explanation for its appearance in cultures, as geographically separated as Prester John, Memphis, Tunguska, and Patreon. All versions of Binding Familiar create a magical link between the master and the subject, with each side benefiting. The familiar is stronger, smarter, and healthier than other creatures of its type. The master receives a capable assistant and a fraction of the vital properties of his ward. I would love a little battle cast. Jack the Bard, author unknown. Once upon a time, there was a young bard named Jack who left home to seek his fortune. One day, when walking in the woods, he came upon a poor old dog who was about to be devoured by a hungry serpent. Moved with pity for the poor beast, Jack drew his flute and started to play. The serpent was so entranced by Jack's song, she quite forgot her prey, so the dog was able to run for his life, followed quickly by Jack himself. When they were both safe, the dog said to Jack, Excuse me? 
Thank you, my friend. I owe you my life. Now quickly let us flee this dark place. Why? said Jack. Do you not know? replied the speaking dog. This is the kingdom of Verstectmore. Of Verstectmore? And is ruled by a wicked enchantress. Only a fool would stay. Jack laughed at this. I left my village to seek my fortune in what better way than by defeating this enchantress. So despite the dog's warnings, Jack continued through the realm of Versectmore. Soon after, Jack happened upon a spider that caught an eagle in her web. Quiet as a mouse, Jack scooped up a stone and cast it into the nearby thicket. Thinking it was a new morsel, the spider went to investigate, and as, as she did, Jack cut the eagle free with his trusty sword. Once they were safe, the eagle said, again speaking, Thanks to see you, friend. Quickly, I will fly you away from this accursed place, far beyond the reach of the wicked enchantress. Jack only laughed. <laughs> no, friend. I came to seek my fortune in this land. I will defeat the enchantress. Right. You know what? Pause the video if you want to read this. Okay, that one was way shorter than part one. I'm not reading all this. It's all about Jack. I normally like a bit of lore in my game, but, you know, let's try and get some gameplay in this quick look. It's meant to be a quick look, not, you know, an hour-long look. But I'm aware of Jack and his tale now. Song of the Squire. Be brave, young squire, said the knight to his ward. Stand tall and true as we march through the night. Be brave, young squire, for your people and lord. Stand tall and true as we march to the fight. Be brave, young squire, in this ballet, uh, sorry, benighted land. Stand tall and true before the champions of woe. Be brave, young squire, as we make our stand. Stand tall and true as your master is broken beneath the foe. Be brave, young squire, said the knight as he passed away. Stand tall and true against man and beast and fiendish horde. Be brave, young squire, for you are called on this day. Stand tall and true, the squire did, as he took up the sword. Dear Viscount Altamon, while I am happy to take your son on as a student, I feel the need to remind you that I am an edged weapon expert, not a fencing teacher. If you want instruction in the form and point scoring, I can recommend several fabulous fencing clubs that have trained the finest in their sport. If you would like to proceed, please come to my residence with young Arthur, so I can get a better idea of his skill level, needs and goals. Sincerely, Minerva Rosenfeld. Right. Let me leave this room before I pick up another book. Good. I have plenty of time to catch the train. Perfect. Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for Minerva Rosenfeld. This is where she lives, right? Honestly, it took me a second there to find where I was on the map. Yes, this is the right place. She's just seeing my brother off at the Letha Sky Dock. She should be back in a few hours. I see. Thank you very much, miss. Oh, Andraste. Please excuse me, I have a train to catch. No problem, Andraste. I'll wait. Have a good day. Do I have a personal guard at my place? Okay, cool music. I like the neon signs, like this mixture of, like, honestly, like, modernistic traits with magic, like phone booths over here as well, I guess, powered by magic. That's really, like, my type of scene. Well, it's a nice sword. It's custom forge, right? But, okay. Well, I have to go. Goodbye. Don't talk to a guard on duty. Can I walk behind this? Yes, I can. They opened a new switchboard for the tri-district area. Might be a good place to find part-time work. Right, where is the train? Knights Church Herald Post. Listen, there's a lot of law here. Hear ye, hear ye! The Councillor of Justy Cars has extended the moratorium on travel to the Blood Silk Isles, owing to the ongoing presence of the native gargantuan Blood Silk Spiders. I'll, I'll do the proclamations, but I, I really want to get into this game more. Hear ye, hear ye! The Council of Just the Cars has extended. I've just read this. Did I click the wrong thing? Proclamations. Or did I click that before? A quick guide to quick golden. We can all use a few extra golden this time of year, so the city crier is proud to present its do's and don'ts for making extra golden. Do. Look for side jobs. This need not involve the commitment of resumes and interviews. Look around, talk to people, see what's needed. 
Don't. Expect to make a living fighting monsters. At least not directly. Pests like rats and goblins aren't known for carrying lots of pocket change. Do. Spot potential. You may be in the possession of valuable items that have no application to your life, but others may have need of. Pass them on and profit. Foreign Correspondence In Tunguska, in the trial of notorious mass murderer and war criminal, Sergei the Mad, the accused was sharply critical of his treatment at the hands of Winterguard. He claimed both the food and the torture were mild and uncreative. This torture is so mild and uncreative! Do something more interesting. He uh, Hexengard is in the Geiger Square, one district over. I presume this was the right way. Why don't you watch where you're going? Excuse me? Oh, sorry. Listen in. Approaching people in conversation may give you important information. to the city before, just not... Then you should know how to walk around without blundering into people. Am I interrupting? Yes. Not at all. This author is just unfamiliar with how the city works. Well, the first thing you should know about Letha is that most Astros don't act like we're superior to everyone else. Most of us know better. Roderick, we don't have time for this. Let's just go. Why are you apparently by voice stood like two miles away from this conversation? Well, Whatever. thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> like I said, most astrals don't think like that. You think she'd be a bit more enthused about us helping? Wow, thanks. Oh, I know. I've been to Rita before. She's not without my pack around. Ah, uh, I get that. I'm on drastic. Nice to meet you. My name's Lupa. Come on, Andraste. Let's get inside before orientation starts. Nice. Is she in my party now? No. Very nice. I don't suppose you're the Hex and Meister's personal assistant come to fetch me, are you? No, sorry. Is that why you're standing here? I'm from the Coven of Veils and I'm waiting on approval from the Elder Council to access the Hex and Guard libraries. Can't you find the books you want somewhere else? Not in Stormhaven, no. Sure. Okay, three doors went to this building. Do we want left, middle, or right? Choose now in the comments below. We're obviously going in the middle one. Okay. Ave, your name, Prentice? My name is Andres de St. Clair. Welcome to the Tower of Sorcery, Apprentice. St. Clair. The Hex Meister is about to address the new students. Hmm, no brunettes, hey? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Balthazar, Hexenmeister of Stormy. The Elder Council has seen fit to place me in charge of this institution and your education. In ancient times, long before the Elder Council, before the fragmented mass of mages guilds, court wizards, and the cult societies it arose from, even before Iker itself, magic was in the hands of an elite few, those born to use it, but no longer. Malachi, king of the Mizrahi, Malachi, the first wizard, changed all that. Now, anyone can wield magic and danger. It powers our cities, it protects our borders, and shapes our future. You have entered the venerated halls of Hexengard to make magic your own. Whether through the skills you develop or the natural talent that you hone, you will become a mage with a word of caution. Learn to wield this power wisely, or you will not wield it at all. It will wield you. Now then, to class. All of you, it wouldn't do to be late on your first day. It was kind of weird then, like, he automatically went through his... Uh like voice speech, but I was clicking the text boxes because otherwise it wasn't moving on its own. Kind of a weird way to do that. Quest complete the big day. Down on the lower levels. The elevators at the back of the hall will take you there. What's this? 
Ah, save game. And it feels as nice. File one. Was that it? Oh wow, that was quick. And you can just overwrite saves. I didn't see which way you said to go, honestly. So I'm going to quickly check the quest log. The dungeoneering. Just says use elevator, so I guess I can go left or right. Go left. I guess both are going to take me to the same room. <laughs> ladies and gents. Let's go into ladies. Get changed? Yes, sure. Okay. Fair. Good morning, ladies. I'm Professor Falk. Welcome to Dungeoneering. This semester, we'll be going over the basics of navigation, arcane and mundane locks, as well as environmental hazards like i byproducts and mushrooms. Okay. Oh, no, not pizza toppings. Right. Since you two are so confident, you could be the first in my practice dungeon. Okay. Okay, let's get this over with. <laughs> oh, it's locked. I can fix that. Apprentice, my door can take whatever you can dish out. <laughs> I doubt that. Good thing I have a key. I'll take that. Okay. You need the key. Here you go, kid. I'll be watching you from the sidelines. Honestly, I just assumed you'd given me the key. Okay, let's go. I'm Stormy, by the way. Oh, right. I'm Andraste. Hmm, that's a cool name. All right, Andraste. I'll follow your lead. Stormy has joined my party. Oh, okay. You didn't need to lock me in. So, Stormy Sorceress? Does she have any equipment? No. And I don't know what happened to that sword. Whatever. Okay. My daughter completed this course in about five minutes. I let her run through last week for her sixth birthday. The first challenge is simple. A locked door. Okay. This isn't very productive teaching. Honestly, mocking me and suggesting that I'm dumber than your six-year-old. Alright, I've got the blue key. Let's see what's in the red chest before I move on. I got a red key. Let's see if either of these open that locked door in front of me. Oh, I have both keys unlock the door. Yes. From time to time, you will find natural hazards. Fungus, broken glass, lava. I have the same advice for all of them. Don't touch. Okay. Are you watching? Ah, what was that? Just some flash powder. Surprising, isn't it, kid? You're a bit of an asshole, aren't you, teacher? But it's fine. You can run into all kinds of nasty things in caves and ruins, and you never want to run into them alone. You stay together, and you stay alive. Right, I will do. I can't separate. I'm literally stuck together in the menu. Ah, my eyes! Yeah, but a bright flash will do that. Sure. Is this the key? Yellow key. You watching this? I'm going to do this in under five minutes. Tell that to your six-year-old when you put it to bed tonight. Some doors are sealed with magical devices, like the orbs in this room. You'll need what's in the crate to deactivate them. Okay. This is broken glass. And I presume I'm not wearing any shoes, like every other person. Uh, Enjoy the lights while you can. Halfway through the semester, I'll be turning them off. Caves and tunnels aren't known for their illumination. Right. Can you stop distracting me while I'm doing my task? Ooh. Do I have to walk through some glass here? Or can I get behind that? Yeah, I can get behind. Okay. Note to self that 3D objects in 2D may not be as they appear. Artificer's ring. It's some kind of ring. It's an artificer's ring. How do you know that? My dad's an artificer. Rings like that help you focus your intention to an object or device. So you put on the ring and... Or you can give it to me, I know what to do. Sounds good. And to equip the artifice's ring to Stormy, open the menu by right-clicking, or hitting the escape key. Yeah. 
Uh, is it an artifact? Nope. It's an arcane focus. Of course it is, dummy. Right, back through this room without walking on the broken glass. Perhaps Andraste and Stomme purchased some shoes after this. So what are you going to do? Show this orb who's boss. How exact? Like that. Okay. So you just blast it with the ring. You know what? It'd be more fun to blow up these orbs than to deactivate them. Ah, that would probably grade us down for that. Yeah, fair point. Time, time, time. Okay, girls, let me look at you. Hmm, not too bad, but just to be safe. Now, let me care of any nasty old germs. This will only burn for a moment. Listen, that won't be necessary. I didn't hit anything. I perfected your tutorial. Nice work, you two. Now, go get washed up while we reset the dungeon. Alright, my next class is Wondrous Items. Up on Academy level. Okay. Are you coming with me, Stormy? Okay, sure. I'll see you later. Complete Should dungeon enemy. The last classroom on the left. Right, okay. Last classroom left. Can I do some exploring there? Okay, only staff that way. Demonology. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to come in all these in due course. Right, last on the left. So I guess it's here. Okay. I have to walk through the cafeteria then? Oh, and I can save my game. So I guess it's this one it means. Yes. Hello, my dear. Welcome to Wondrous Items. Your name, please. Andraste. Oh, hello. I'm Andraste. Andraste St. Clair. The name's Bond, James Bond. Really should do it St. Clair. Andraste St. Clair. Very good. Take your seat. Yeah, sure thing. Oh no. It's that girl from this morning. Hello, friends. Good day, class. I'm Professor Caleb Kex of the Scritty Clan. My people Excuse have a me? deep respect for the power of objects. I specialize in cursed artifacts. Wondrous items is a broad term, covering everything from enchanted armor to the arcane lodestones that allow airships to defy gravity. This semester, we will be looking at the three major categories of personal wondrous items. Worn items, arcane focuses, and artifacts. An arcane focus is any object that allows you to channel the power you pull from raw ichor. With a focus, you can bypass the complex rituals of normal spellcasting. Apprentice St. Clair, give me an example of an arcane focus. Scratchy, do you know how much your name would be worth in Scrabble? A book. Very clever. A book can be more than just a re repository of information. Holy text can be powerful talisman in the hands of a true believer. Well done, apprentice. Now, would you mind coming down here and assisting me with the next part of the lesson? Absolutely. Here I am, sir. Tell me, apprentice, do you like jewellery? Yes, I do. Well then, you'll appreciate this. Punches in the face with rings. No. Oh, it's a ring. This ring is more than just a fashion accessory. The stone is a rare crystal that can hold a small reservoir of ichor. I got the wizard's ring! When you've had a chance to try the ring out, pass it on to the girl sitting next to you. Hit quick the wizard. Can you please tell me what this ring does before I test it out? Uh, plus five ichor. Okay. I don't need any Ica. Oh, it's a wondrous item. When cornered, the crafty was the lords of trick of his sleeve on his finger, as it were. I mean, it's flashing... Oh, no. Wait, maybe it's not. Or whatever. Let me go. So Madeline, right? Yes. Mm, check out this ring. It's kind of neat. You gave the wizard's ring. 
The final category of personal wondrous items is artifacts. An artifact is the kind of power only time and experience can give. Some objects have a bond with a person, place or event. Possession of such an object will grant the bearer a small portion of that individual location or zeitgeist power. Your final project this semester is a 15 page research paper and oral presentation on one of these artifacts in the Hexengard vault. Are we talking about final projects? I just started, it's the first day. Your partner will be the girl sitting next to you. Wonderful. Why me? All right, class, take out your books and turn to the table of contents. Quest complete, wondrous items. Okay. Don't feel like I really learned much about what a wondrous item is, but sure. They're listening to music. Strange is the night where black stars to rise and strange moons circle through the skies. But stranger still is Lost Carcosa. Oh, I was enjoying that song. Excuse me, Professor Kex. May I ask you something? I'm no expert on such things, but machines of that variety are often divination related. Like fortune telling? No, Apprentice. Such devices are no mere power trick. They cause sensory enhancement and are often used by researchers and even treasure hunters to reveal buried secrets. So it's more like an arcane or aura sight spell. Each device is unique and may act on the eyes, the ears, or the pineal gland. The what now? A small gland in the brain that regulates sleep. The point is that it's not uncommon for sense enhancers to be set up in places where, for one reason or another, one might wish to perceive what is beyond the waking eye. I hope that answers your question. Uh, yeah, thank you, Professor. Don't think it did. Can I help you with something? Uh, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Okay. Let me in. Hey, it's Looper. Who's Looper? Hey, Looper. Oh, it's you. Huh. Oh, hi, Andres Day. What are you drawing? Just my friend from Ilfa from home. I miss her a lot. Where are you from? I am from a small village in the Ab and Drof Mountains. It's... Hello, class. I hope all of you enjoyed my dramatic entrance. Indeed. I'm Professor Maya Lachance. But please, call me Maya. I know it was a bit much, but I like practical demonstrations. I bet you do. There's an old proverb from the Sorcerers of Memphis. Magic can do all that is doable. But, when you get down to it, magic can only be used to do three things. Does anyone know what they are? Fold socks. Magic can move, create, or transform. Very good, Apprentice. Over the centuries, mages have found countless ways to utilize these fundamental powers. There are nine major types or schools of magic. Can anybody name one? Evocation, necromancy, or amelioration. Ameliorate. What's ameliorate? I forgot what the word is. Hmm. I'm going to say evocation, but I think they're all right. A very popular school indeed. Evocators command the power of the elements. True or false? Can evocation only manifest the four classical elements? Fire, air, water, and earth. Of course that's false, Maya. Evocators can create all kinds of things. Sound, electricity, light, and force. Never underestimate the power of a good hard push. Maya, just stop being filthy. Who can name another school? Uh, illusion. There are so many different uses for illusion. The only real limit is your imagination. All right, class. Can anyone tell me the difference between shadows and figments? A figment exists only in the mind, but a shadow is real or unreal as the void it came from. The term we use is semi-real. Even though our minds shake them, shadows are real and can really hurt us. Another school, if you please. Conjuration. Conjuration is a very another useful school. With it, you can move creatures and objects from long distances instantaneously, even from one plane of existence to another. When summoning a spirit, what is the primary purpose of the summoning circle? Spirits like demons don't have bodies. They're both bad and good. Good, we don't have demons wandering around. Bad if you want to talk to one, and you don't want it in your head. You need somewhere for it to exist, so circle. Exactly, Apprentice. 
But could you have gone with a less heretical example? Well, that's no fun. It seems like we're going to have a very productive semester. Now let's go over the syllabus. Uh, teacher, I've got a question. What was ameliorating me and I forgot? Okay. Sex come again. Hey, so uh, I'm living in the dorms and I don't know many people in Leafy. So come say hi if you're in the Giga Square. All right, Looper. I'll have to show you around the city sometime. I've lived here for six years and I know all the hotspots. Awesome. Now I just need to figure out when I'm free. Oh, and when we better get to class. Oh, sorry. And oh, and we better get to class. Right. See ya. Hey Maya, do you know anything about the gatekeepers? Yes indeed, every gatekeeper in Leth was educated right here on the fundamentals of conjuration. Is that a career that interests you? Maybe, but what do they actually do? Elite gatekeepers or wardens are responsible for defending the city from teleporting invaders and closing spatial anomalies that might let nasty things in. Ooh, tell me more. Most gatekeepers work at the city teleportation circles at maintaining stable gates to other cities by compensating for the Coriolis effect and other forces. Yuck, tell me less. Okay, downstairs to the Proving Garands. I really, before this quick looks over, would like to get into a note, an actual battle. I need to find the locker room. Okay. A lot of changing going on here. Okay, change, yeah. This is my practical uniform. Good luck and don't worry. The first day is just an assessment of your abilities. Uh, I'll take my spot here. Sergeant Dorman. If any of you would like to I call go. me Sarge or Dorman, don't. First <laughs> apprentice who does that will be running somatic drills in front of the entire class. All right, this is practical application of magic, and we cast real spells. I assume you can all perform a ritual or incantation under ideal conditions, but life does not present ideal conditions. If your resolve weakens, if you misspeak or lose control over the power you've gathered, the spell failing will be the best you can hope for. I like to begin every new class with the least ideal conditions of all, combat. Who would like to be first? I'll go first, Sergeant. I think I like you, Apprentice. What's your name? Get down and give me 20. Blaze of Clan Halberd. All right. Give Apprentice Halberd an opponent. A goblin will do. He may be an illusion, but he can still hurt you. That's why I'm here. Whenever you're ready, Halberd. Impressive. You live up to your name. Too easy, Sergeant. Get back in line. Who's next? I'll do it. Excellent. Another goblin, please. Feel free to use any. A goblin. I'm a bit worried about. You know. I'm a bit worried about the ethics of us just summoning goblins and murdering them. The enemies you encounter have specific strengths and weaknesses. This illusion is vulnerable to light. Equip Andraste spellbook and use the Dawnbolt spell to exploit the weakness. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Scale? What did you say it was called? No. Oh, there's my sword. Arcane fire. Where is it? Hmm. Where's Dawnbolt, or whatever it was called? Was it... It's not this, is it? Oh, I actually have to start the battle. Arcane Eye, Undead of the National History Island, Brothering. What is going on here? What is Undeath? Skeletons, Ghouls, Vampires, Mummy, Shadows. Eh... Uh.
Okay, I think I opened up a book as I started the battle. My bad. So what did you ask me to do? No. The spell you're asking me to do, I don't think I have. Oh, right. I just got it for no reason. But I took no damage. I have any fire you? Get roasted. Okay, I don't know where that fire thing is there. Okay, you're stabbing me to death. That's fine. I wish I had a spell that just one-shot you. Okay, I ran out of mana. How about I just hit you with a sword? Let's see what the damage is off of a sword. Five. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die in the tutorial. Because you have more than five health. It could give me more Ica. I think I'm just gonna die. Yep. Unless it's missed Nope. I was defeated. Can you heal me, please? There you go. What's your name? Andraste Sinclair. You have an interesting style. Who trained you? My Aunt Minerva. Is your Aunt Minerva Rosenfeld? That's right. Do you know her? Only by reputation. All right, back in line. Okay, I could not find that spell, whatever you called it. Yeah. Yeah, Blaze, you were great out there. I didn't think there'd be another Blade user in this class. Too many people overlook using a weapon for their spells. That's what you do with it? What? Don't you? No, I just use it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> well, it clearly works for you. Anyway, Andraste, I'm gonna head up to the Academy for lunch. Sounds good. I'll see you there. Right. Quest complete. I need a break for lunch. Sneak up to the conversation. Do anything fun over the weekend? Some friends and I were in Euphoria. I've heard they've been having trouble with some new gang over there. The Freaks, right? That's not a new problem. I've heard the Freaks started in Euphoria and now they're expanding. Interesting sentence. What's the deal anyway? No idea. All I know is that the city guards seem to be taking them seriously. Okay. Go back to the cafeteria, I suppose. Did you hear about Lord Dillapaw? Yeah, old Whiptail got him. Don't say it that way, Tara. Okay, still, unexpected. He can't have been that old. His daughter Portance went here not long ago. Guess she's Lady Dillapaw now. Wait, is she called Portance Dillapaw? The mind boggles. Excuse me, Lieutenant Chance? Oh, hi, it's just Maya. I'm not in the military anymore. I'm sorry, Maya. In your expert opinion, what is the defensive potential of evocation? Well, the First Strike Doctrine works well with evocation, but don't forget that unlike other schools, evocation can create an ex nihilo. What do you mean? Creating simple constructs like floating platforms can keep you out of an enemy's reach. A more aggressive use of defensive evocation is protecting yourself with an inherently dangerous force, like an electric eel does. Hmm, very interesting. I mean, you could also evocate a big stone wall in front of you. Hey, Prof, you know the bird ladies with magic voices? Which, harpies or sirens? Same difference. Actually, sirens are fey creatures, while harpies were once human priestesses of Pazuzu, who... So are the songs they sing magic, or is it their voices? Both, actually. A siren's voice acts as a focus for their musical spells, while the lyrics and tune are essentially an incantation. And we can cast spells the same way? But of course. I believe the Inquisition compiled a book on the subject called The Infernal Rhapsodies. Interesting. Thanks, Prof. And don't ever call me Prof. I spent like five years getting a degree for this title. Not for you to shorten it. Right, another save. You can have the Vox in a minute. I'm looking for something. Sure. 
Excuse me, are you from around here? Left there, you mean? Yeah, I've lived here for a while. Why? I'm looking for a book on local folklore, but I haven't had any luck. Do you know any urban legends? Well, my big brother told me there's a troll under the bridge we live on, but seriously, I've heard a few. Shadow Jack! There was this silly story a lot of kids talk about. No. It's about a guy named Shadow Jack. He's a... Come to think of it, I'm not sure who or what he's supposed to be. But they say he steals things. What kind of things? All kinds of things. Toys, clothes, even kids. There's a whole rhyme about it. And that's kidnapping and drastic not stealing anymore. Shadow Jack, Shadow Jack. He'll steal you away and you'll never come back. He lives down the street and roams by night. So be a smart little girl and lock up tight. Shadow Jack, Shadow Jack. He'll steal you away and you'll never come back. Lock the doors and windows too. Seal them with salt or he'll still get you. Shadow Jack, Shadow Jack. He'll steal you away and you'll never come back. Thanks for the local history. Now fair is fair. I'm going to tell you a story about my home. Do you know who the Fetchers are? The name sounds familiar. My grandma would tell me about them when we went out scavenging for Witchbone. Don't go running off or the Fetchers will get you. They take kids. More than that, in the mountains it's not all that uncommon to come across abandoned homesteads. Most people blame goblins, but some houses are just empty with no signs of being disturbed. Like the people there just disappeared. So why are they called the Fetchers? Grandma said because they come to fetch folks, the way folks would fetch a cup of sugar. Spooky. She also told me she'd seen things in the forest. Things with no earthly business being there. Ah, uh, Never what exactly. Just, I'd know if I saw it. Anyway, it was nice talking to you. Uh, same here. You freaky person. What would it take to bind a teleportation ritual to an object? Uh, it depends on a lot. The complexity of this ritual, where the teleport is going, and how much mass is being moved. Why? I'm trying to work out if it would be economical to create a personal teleport item. Maybe even armor or something. That sounds both inefficient and dangerous. Granted, blind teleport uh, teleporting can be... There's no can about it. The benefits well outweigh the risks. No, they don't. Oh, well, we don't... Sorry, why don't we ask the unbiased party? Say the random girl just listening to our conversation. Would you be willing to assume a small amount of risk for the convenience of a personal teleportation? Risks include instantaneous death and possible contact with creatures straight out of your worst nightmares. And uh, no. You're clearly a very sensible person who has a depressing lack of imagination. You weirdo, don't just randomly teleport. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Angeline, yeah, sure. Thanks. I'm done. Can I read your book? How distinctly I remember the cold light of a winter day, filling the forgotten chamber of the old manor house. An eye of leather seven stood terrified and unable to approach a sinister dust-covered idol, depicting a demonic seven-headed worm, of the variety so often spoke of by the vicar in his fiery sermons. It was then I felt a gentle hand upon my shoulder. It was my tutor, a mage who still seems to me so ancient and so long steeped in arcane lore, that there was no subject beyond his knowing. Even though he was, uh, he was then younger than I am now, he asked me why I feared the idol. If you're uncomfortable reading from that angle, I can turn the book so we can both use it. Oh, sorry. Is that textbook from Wondrous Items class? No. Objects of our intent is a more esoteric work on the nature of functionality of magical items. Did you get that from the library? Actually, I brought it from home. One of the perks of my family bookstore is I always have additional reading. If you can call that a perk. Yeah, reading, you nerd. Knowledge is a power, as they say. In fact, I have a few volumes I could part with. About what? Demonology, Thaumaturgy, and Eidolons. I'm sure I'll have something to improve your studies, and I won't charge you the customary textbook markup. Can I have them then, please? Yeah, what do you have? Okay, so I can buy X Eidolon. Amid candles and incense from unmoving mouths of metal and stone come the whispers of strange gods. Sure, I'll buy one. That's all my money. Now, what is it? Ooh, is it? It's a wondrous item. 
So Wonder Titan. Okay, don't worry, does. <laughs> I have been paying attention to my Wonder Titan classes. Oh, hello. Are you liking your classes? Interesting. This is way more intensive than arcane studies back in high school. I'm glad we didn't have to fight during the practical applications. All I know are amelioration spells. It was ameliorate, please. I've forgotten the word. It's something I use to know. Okay, what are we meant to be doing here? Because I thought we were just coming into the cafeteria. Grab a plate at the cafeteria. Oh, wait. The cafeteria was the door, wasn't it? This isn't it. This is like a breakout area. I think you just grab a plate when you're ready to eat. I hope that's something good. Hey, Andrade, over here. I saved you a seat. Thank you. Silly me for trying to read in the lunch room and expecting quiet. Hi, Andrade. You need to try the ham. It's fantastic. How's your hearing out of those ears? Really good. They have better hearing range than my first ears. How about you? What do you mean, my first ears? Oh, these. They say my hearing is better than the standard for pure bloods, but I can't tell. Your ears are more useful and cuter. Thanks, but you have a cooler name. Looper is such an old lady name. Is it? Yeah, I have like three aunts named Looper. Eh. Uh, what seat did you save me? The one next to you, maybe? Honestly, I'm surprised I made it here after what happened at my exam. What did you do? More like what I didn't do. I was in line for the practical exam when I realised I was out of Ica. Oh dear. I had to duck out of line and run to the nearest apothecary. You're lucky you made it back in time. No kidding. Uh, oh wait, do I have to grab a plate from here first? Eat lunch now, yes. Okay. Hi, Stormy. Quest out of the library. I should get to my work study up in the library. Is this the library? Or is this just a breakout area? Oh, cafeteria. Where is the library? Okay, fair room. Is this just meant to be the library? Because there is a bunch of books in here. Although all the people have gone. Uh, some more text. You can pause it if you want to read it. I've read enough now. Use the elevator to go to the library level. Right, thank you. You've told me all I need to know. Mm. More books. Again, you can pause this if you want to read it. I think I'm done reading every single book now. I'm sorry, Apprentice. The Codex is only available to Hexengard staff. Council members, affiliated organizations, and approved individuals. I'm an initiate with the Letha Winter Coven. That's an affiliated organization. Unless you're with a more senior member, I can't help you. That's fine. I understand. Thank you. Hello, Apprentice. You're my work study, right? That's right. I'm Andraste, by the way. It's very nice to meet you. Here you'll be helping keep the library organized and... Excuse me, Mrs. Reedy? I'm running low on ink. And well stocked. All right, Andrasti. For your first job, would you please fetch Apprentice Starling some ink? Check the supply room, wooden door on the far left of this room. Okay, got it. Uh, has she considered getting her own goddamn ink? Oh. Like, what happened to your two legs? Did you emulate them away? Uh, wait, is this the ink I want? Oh wait, it goes further. There we go. 
I know what ink looks like. I got Ica ink. I kind of want to play with the crystal ball. Oh wow, a scrying god. I bet they use that to hunt down overdue books and dispatch elite strike teams of battle librarians. Or maybe they're just sorting it here. That's the class I want to be, the battle librarian. Rather than like having ninja stars, you just throw books at people and stamps. Stamped like little seals on the head, like magic seals. Okay, I've got it. Oh, sorry, I have to give it to her. Fair enough. Thank you, Andraste. So tell me, how do you like working in the library? It's okay. Uh, so far, so good. I really only grabbed a, a, like a jar of ink for you. Typically, try to match your work study with your skill set. So, does that make you a wizard? Not exactly. My aunt's been training me in magic and martial styles. A spell sword, then. Some would say that's a potent combination. I would agree. Others would call it indecisive. Hmm. What about you? Why did you get scroll duty? My parents run a shop called Magic and Stuff over in the Rumoric district. <laughs> Scribing is one of our services. Magic and Stuff, what a name. Andrasti, if you're done, I have a new job for you. Would you please collect the books scattered around the library and drop them off in the sorting room? Okay. Be sure to check the front lobby and the Hall of Artifacts through the doors at the back of this room. Of course. Right. Thank you. Does it include these books here? Apparently not. Stop talking. Okay, I'm just not clicking on the other book then. Right. I'll take one of these. I'll take this. Could it hurt to look like for you guys to put your own books away? Just throwing that out there. Right, there's nothing else here. Oh, maybe I need that one on the counter as well, question mark. Right, do you need this? Nope. Oh, is that a map? Apparently these books are fine. Uh, do I not have every book? Alright. I guess I don't need anything in here. I'm so slow. Come on. Okay. So I'm going to have a guess that I need to go... Oh no, that's the, the elevator, isn't it? Wait, do I need this book off your table? Oh my god, I did. Let me just check that I don't need anything in the scrolling room before I go back. And uh, no, there's no books. Hopefully that's the last of them. Oh wait, there's three doors here. Ah. Okay. A little counter wouldn't let like, go of me, so I know what's going on. Ooh, ancient artifacts, I presume. Can I take this incredible purple book? Book of Imps, Blackstone and its cover is Explorer Origin. Okay. Well, I presume you don't want me to put that back into the book collection. Hey, that's the last book. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right, sort these, please. Thank you. Quest complete. Can you give me some golden for that? Like, am I getting paid to do this or what? Or do I just get, like, extra credit for this? Andraste, if you're done, I have a new job for you. 
Come talk to me when you can. Of course you have a new job for me. What is it now? Take this pile of scrolls and put them in the scroll deposit box. Okay, Andresti, now let me explain how a filing system works. No joy. Ah, I don't actually have to do the job. I need to get back to the academy. I'm already at the academy. I'm just up in the lift. What? Oh. That's on the left. Demonology class is the first room. First room on the left. Quest complete library. Quest out of demonology. Indeed I am. Yep, that's me. Apprentice Saint Clair. Check. Just take your seat and uh, we can begin. I don't think it's pretty good that I've always been last to class, but... Oh, hey, you're one of Stormy friends, right? Yeah, I'm Tessa. I'm Andraste, it's... Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to Demonology. Now, don't let the name fool you. We'll be covering everything from animated objects to zombies. I'm Professor Brownlow. I've been on an adventure or two in my life. With a combination of good luck and good friends, I've survived them all. But obviously, why on one of my first adventures, some lads and I were hired to clear a city sewer of the nasty things living down there. Me and a sticky-fingered fellow called Carnival went down a side passage, and we hadn't got more than 50 paces when we heard the most horrible squelching sound and saw a pale, pulpy mass moving by the door. So, Carmichael and I took one look at each other, and like the strong, brave boys we were, we turned right around and went back the other way. Now, I'd like to start our first class with a pop quiz. Uh, don't worry, this is just an assessment. Okay, pop quiz, I've got this. All undead are mindless. Probably false. Soft bodied pseudo forms like the common green ooze are found in. Polluted zones? Or all of the above? Yeah, all of the above. Fake creatures are injured by cold iron, silver, holy water. Silver. Small animals like lat rats are not dangerous. Uh, I mean, IRL, it's false. So I'm going to say false. But realistically, oh, I, I don't know. Shadow specs and ghosts are all what? Aberrant and incorporal, undead and incorporal, or undead and incorporal. Monster humanoids are all formerly human, never human. As intelligent as humans, none of the above. Eh. Uh, right, I have no idea. Have we failed class already? Thank goodness. You performed quite adequately, Apprentice. There is, however, room for improvement. Why don't you try comparing notes with your deskmate, Apprentice Rose? I'm sure she'd be willing to help you study. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Like, if I'm paying you a tuition fee, uh, sir, why don't you give me the answers and explain why the answers are what they are? That's kind of how we meant to learn from this. Why are you asking me now just to help offer friends? That's kind of like shirking responsibility, don't you think? Anyway. Okay. I think this quick look is as quick as it can be. What would I say about this game? I like the art style. I like, I've enjoyed the music. The theme seems fine. I think if you like RPG games, you'll like this. Especially like some of the old Final Fantasy games. Pretty long preamble into like the combat, because we've not really had an actual combat yet. But, you know what? It's still been pretty enjoyable. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, let me know. And maybe we'll do another episode on the channel. Maybe I'll do another quick look at this now that we've almost got through like the beginning part. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.